Okay, an electron moving at a steady speed of 0 0.5 exponent 6 meter per second passes between two flat parallel metal plates, 2 cm apart, with a potential difference of 100 volt between them. The electron is kept traveling in a straight line perpendicular to the electric field between the plates by applying a magnetic field perpendicular to the electron path and to the electric field. Calculate the intensity of the electric field and the magnetic field needed. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, so uh, if you look carefully, uh, okay, you see, uh, you have two parallel metal plates, okay, and these two plates give out electric field, isn't it? Give out electric field, and then this electric field is actually, uh, okay, you have, uh, sorry, you have another magnetic field perpendicular to the electric field and also perpendicular to the electron path. So, okay, let me draw it out first. Let me draw it out. Okay, um, I have two parallel plates. Okay, two parallel plates. So I have an electron charge uh, passing through. Okay, uh, all right. So uh, let me see. Uh. Okay, let's say this the top one is a positive plate. Below is a negative plate. Uh, so, so we have um, this uh, electric field uh, provided by the. Uh, we have the electric field provided by the uh, parallel plates. Okay, and this uh, this uh, electron will be attracted by positive plate. Uh, will be attracted by the positive plate so I can say it has the electric force to the top uh, it has the electric force to the top and then um, okay what about the direction of magnetic field magnetic field should be perpendicular to the electric field also perpendicular to the velocity of the electron so okay uh, the electric field should be Okay, um, the electric field should be going into the page. Yeah, going into the page. Uh, this is the magnetic field. Yeah, magnetic field should be going into the page. And by using our right hand rule, you know, uh, which you have learned already before. Uh, which one? Yeah, uh, we have learned about this magnetic field. Let me see. Yeah. One second. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, all right. I just want to copy this. Okay, our right hand rule. Okay, our right hand rule. So uh, this is an electron charge, negative charge. So use our right hand rule. The finger as the velocity. The palm is the magnetic field. So the direction of magnetic force is opposite the thumb for negative charge. Okay. So by using this hand, okay, I'm not going to show you how. Uh, so, okay, you just use your right hand. Yeah, following this example, this uh, rule, this uh, uh, rules, you can find you can find the magnetic force is actually facing uh, velocity to the right, magnetic field into the page. So the thumb is pointing up. Actually, if you use your right hand, the thumb is actually pointing up, but it is a negative charge negative charge so it's opposite the thumb so it's opposite the thumb so your magnetic force is actually downward ah your magnetic force is actually downward ah okay so okay so that's why uh, these two force can be cancel each other yeah they can these two force can be cancel each other and this electron can pass us through uh, in straight line yeah it can pass through in straight line without any deflection Right. Uh, so this is what happened by uh, uh, yeah uh, ex, uh, as described in the questions. Okay. So we already have the speed here. Yeah, speed already we have, and this one is the this separation between the two plates. This is the uh, value of d. 
and this is the delta v yeah, potential difference between the two plates so we have this uh, we have the d we have the delta v also uh, we have the delta v we have the value of velocity okay um, the he said magnetic field is perpendicular to the electron path yeah this magnetic field this the velocity perpendicular so that means the velocity is perpendicular to magnetic field that means theta is equal to 90 degree yeah all that yeah all that stuff so we can say uh this um uh you know total force is equal to zero yeah force going upward positive force going downward as negative uh f e minus f b yeah so um okay so this is um you know f e is q uh q e uh, and then uh f b is b q v sine 90 because it say that uh, velocity and magnetic field is 90 degree okay so okay the charge cancelled uh, sine 90 is equal to 1 so we have the formula uh, v equal to e over b yeah actually in the notes already uh, explained about this okay uh, it's referring to the last part yeah this one yeah uh, velocity selector okay velocity selector so f equal to fb e v equal to e over b okay so that's how uh, now first question he asked for finding the intensity of electric field yeah so question a you want to find the intensity of electric field that means you want to find the value of e second question asks about magnetic field okay how to find electric field electric field this one electric field between two metal plates uh, so this is actually two parallel plates uh, this is actually two parallel plates so for two parallel plates it's back to your chapter electrostatic okay uh, you can use the formula uh, to find the electric field between two parallel two uh, parallel plates which is the uniform electric field v e equal to delta v over d uh, so okay so delta v is 100 volt and d is uh, two centimeter change to meter so divided by 100 is 0 0.02 meter okay divided by 100 yeah so okay so the answer so what is the answer 100 divided by 0 0.02 okay so it's 5000 so it's 5000 volt per meter okay 5000 volt per meter or you also can write it as newton per coulomb yeah as two units uh, okay and then uh how about the magnetic field how about the magnetic field question b uh, just use this formula yeah uh, this is the b lah. Uh, yeah um v, e, v equal to e over b we got the e already we can find the magnetic field okay uh so uh, velocity also we got yeah 0 0.5 exponent 6 okay uh right 0 0.5 exponent 6 is that correct that's right and then electric field is 5000 so you can find your magnetic field so your magnetic field is um uh, 0.5 exponent 6 okay so it's uh, 0 0.01 0 0.01 tesla uh, okay electric field is 5000 volt per meter magnetic field is 0 0.01 tesla okay is that correct that's right yeah the answer is correct 5000 volt per meter 0 0.01 tesla okay all right so that's what happens yeah uh, this is called the velocity selector yeah velocity selector uh, okay velocity selector has two uh, field it has the electric field it has the magnetic field yeah it has two field and uh, that keeps the charge moving horizontally without any deflection yeah but you must have the right velocity yeah you select only certain velocity to pass through undeflected okay only a certain value of velocity uh, okay 
So it has two field, the electric field and also magnetic field for velocity selector. Okay, so that's all. Bye.